Welcome back to another video. So, is it worth to learn Katia V5 in 2024? I have over here the um, Katia YouTube channel. And as we can see, for example, within this video, this was posted quite a long time ago, so it's 10 months ago, even though within the feed is within the latest video. If I'm gonna open this, you're gonna see that this is regarding an automotive um, chair and it's mostly focused on the stitching but this is within 3d experience and as you can see we have 3d experience katia product perception experience over here but the main problem with this let's say it's not especially a problem but as we can see katia and solidors are merging within the same solution which is 3D experience and this is from um, their Katia official YouTube channel and for example if I will go over here on SOLIDWORKS for the latest video we see that there are a lot more content over here for example we have a video over here which was posted three weeks ago even though the SOLIDWORKS logo is added over here with red we see that the the user interface is the same as within 3D experience because this is 3D experience as we can see and we only have over here this SOLIDWORKS X shape they also added that bike design but we see that the um, functionality of the features is mostly resembling Katia and as we can see we have over here the um, let's say the freeform modeling workflow that hasn't been previously added to SOLIDWORKS just within Katia, namely Imagine Shape Workbench. So as you can see there are, there are more uh, videos posted for SOLIDWORKS. That is something that I also experience. So for example my two latest video are regarding generative sheet metal design in Katia in SOLIDWORKS as we can see the video with within Katia has only 24 views and the same part which I created afterwards within SOLIDWORKS had a lot more views even though the video length time in SOLIDWORKS is smaller as we can see in three minutes um, we have that part designed from scratch in Katia it takes a little bit longer this is mainly due to the fact that Katia is not very user friendly for example, for that part, if I will go to generative shape design, it is a little bit harder to work with, with features over here. For example, for the sketch, if I want to start a new sketch on the Y and Z plane, I have to move my mouse over here to grab that line. And also, as you can see, the user interface within V5 is quite old school. And it is a little bit harder to add custom hotkeys over here. For example, for line, I have to click on the line. Afterwards, I will need to have that drawn. I have the possibility to go for profile, which will enable me to construct, for example, all those profile lines of that case study part. Or I can do a double click on the line over here, and that will keep the, um, the command active. That means now I no longer have to go on the line and have that clicked again. I can just start, let's say, tracing that. The same for constraint. I can double click on that. And afterwards, I can just add those values. As you can see, this will remain active. And I can just go and type in the values. But this is the main problem with V5, is that the user interface is quite... Um, old for example the same within solidworks i can easily define rapid hotkeys for example for line we see that by default we have the l hotkey and that will allow us to draw really fast so i don't need to double click on that i can just press on l once and afterwards i can do the sketch the same for smart dimension as we can see i added d this is the same hotkeys like 
with Infusion 360 and I can just press that hotkey and I can start adding those values. So this is quite fast. This is the main reason why within SOLIDWORKS it takes far less um, time to develop the same parts. But the main problem with SOLIDWORKS is that uh, if you work with more advanced workbenches such as surface design, we're gonna see that over there we don't have the same functionality as within Katia. So, as I said previously, as we can see on the dashboard, the video that I posted on SOLIDWORKS, even though my channel is mostly focused on, um, on Katia, this um, has a lot more um, views. Since SOLIDWORKS is more popular, as this is the most affordable solution compared to, to Katia. As you can see, I also have this achievement. So uh, my channel was created five years ago. And one of the videos that has um, the most uh, dislikes on the channel is this one. I'm going to type in over here solid. I'm going to show all the videos. And we see that the vast majority of the videos have um, a good like percent. Even if they are focused directly only on SOLIDWORKS, like this one, and how we can link that to Unreal Engine, we see that the percentage is 100%. Um, but we have this video over here, as you can see, where uh, almost five years ago, um, I, do, I did a comparison between Katia and SOLIDWORKS. And we see that uh, this has quite a lot of uh, dislikes. And within that video, I have it open over here. I address this problem. So as you can see within this post, Katia versus SOLIDWORKS, uh, somebody stated on Reddit engineering um, forum that he downloaded the student version of Katia v5, but he is also using SOLIDWORKS for a couple of weeks now. And he's also preparing to take the first level certification test. And what the user has noticed is that many companies, especially in aerospace, they prefer to use Katia. So this is something that I stated within um, that video as well. But however, Katia looks much more basic to me. And um, I have to agree with that. As you saw, it's quite harder to, to work faster with hotkeys in Katia V5 as, at least. Um, so it looks like it was made in the 90s, despite being by the same companies that put out solder. So yeah, it's the same, um, let's say, developer, the SAL system that um, also develops Katia, also SOLIDWORKS, and now we see that they do a merge for 3D experience as a, as a unique solution for this. But they will still keep it divided, like Within 3D experience, they will have the Katia section and the solar section, but they will merge those within a single solution. So let's see. For, Kat for Katia V5, is it worth to learn Katia V5? Let's see this on, on Bard because in my opinion, it definitely worth to learn Katia V5 because it's also quite similar. So if you know one computer design software, all the others will, uh, will be the same. So as we see over here, Katia V5 is a powerful CAD software, which is widely used. Also, there are many large companies that are using Katia V5 where Mostly SOLIDWORKS is used within smaller companies since this is the most um, affordable solution. So how does Katia V5 compare to SOLIDWORKS in terms of pricing? This is something that I addressed within my previous video from uh, five years ago. And as we can see over here, Katia V5 is a lot more expensive than SOLIDWORKS, even though within SOLIDWORKS, if you want 
to have all the workbenches you will have to pay quite a lot for that but still Seldos is the most affordable solution and this is also one of the reason why content created for SOLIDWORKS has a lot more views than Katia since Katia v5 is quite um, quite a niche on this so is it worth to learn Katia v5 it definitely is but um, keep in mind that the user interface which we currently see within Katia v5 will slowly transform into 3d experience and uh, that is a little bit different both from what we know that is Katia and also uh, what is SOLIDWORKS so as we can see most of the features are by default position on the bottom with Unity 3 experience as we can see let me jump in because this is for drawing but I want to go for a video regarding part design let me search for uh, for one of those we see over here this is solders assemblies catch up for um, 2020-2024 this is the older solders that we know we see over here the assemble so this is not within 3d experience they still offer uh, support for that software but within their most recent solution we see that that is mainly focused over here so this is the same video with um, that we see for uh, for that so we have the the drawing environment but let's see so as we can see within SOLIDWORKS 3d experience we have this user interface on the bottom we have the sketches so this is quite similar to to Katia also over here you can add hotkeys a little bit easier than within Katia v5 so that you no longer have to go and drag all those individual features when working so that will uh, increase the, the workflow so within my channel I will also start creating some content for 3d experience since this will be the, the solution that um, will most likely develop in the in the near future but I will still create content for Katia v5 even though the, let's say this is not such a popular solution as we can see and most of my recent videos barely um, have any views so that that's quite um, let's say not encouraging to create content regarding this but I will still address some Katia v5 and mainly I will start addressing some um, elements regarding the ergonomics within Katia v5 which is something that within SOLIDWORKS um, there isn't a dedicated workbench for this okay so I'm really curious what is your opinion if you are mostly a Katia v5 user because most of my subscribers um, are let's say linked to, to Katia but also I'm curious if you tried other CAD software such as SOLIDWORKS or other and how do you find those how do you let's say which is the the preferred one okay so thanks for watching see you in the next videos